Hi, this is B from Sorcery Soap, and this channel is all about soap dough. Teaching you what it is, how to make it, where to get it, what to do with it, and soap dough is just a tool to get you creative in a whole lot of capacities, but mostly in soap in this area. So, um, I'm the author of three books, uh, The Magic of Soap Dough, uh, an enchanted book of peculiar ideas and soap potions and the soap book of light and shadow and that's the soap maker's guide to having a book of light and shadows it's pretty cool it's a big binder lots of stuff 20 recipes in there um, and you can read all about every single book I'll outline it again another time but you can read about the books on the website and they're available in ebook and print so that's done. So now you know who I am and what I'm about. And today I wanted to talk to you about red. Red is a tricky color to photograph because lots of people perceive red differently and the camera perceives it differently. And a little bit of light will make it change. And so anyway, the only caveat I want to say about this video, I'm gonna show you how I made red and that what it looked like at the end well, what it looked like in the beginning and the end. And the only caveat I'll say is that I really had to trust my mica recipe because once it goes into the oil, it looks so vibrant, it looks amazing. And I still wanted to keep adding some stuff because it was, I wanted to tweak it, it wasn't quite right, but I just trusted it. And then when it starts to saponify, it turns completely different for a while because there's a lot of chemical reaction going on. And then I had to let it rest let it rest 24 hours before I could actually call it a color. Um, at least 24 hours. I know oranges and greens, some oranges and greens will take, uh, you know, up to four or five days even to come to their full fruition, their full color. So no more. I just, let's get right into it. And if you have any questions or comments, just leave, in, leave them below and I'll get to them. I look at everything. I read everything. And if you want to know um, when we put up new videos because we're going to try and do this on a schedule so that you are prepared for it so that you know when they're coming instead of this sort of random thing we've been doing and I'm getting some help so that's cool and then hit the notification bell because even if you just subscribe you won't be notified if there's new videos that come up and they won't sort of come up in your feed in your YouTube feed so hit that little bell and you'll know the minute a video comes up. Because we oftentimes, well, I oftentimes, there's no mice here. I have no mice in my pocket. <laughs> but I oftentimes will let you know that we have new soap dough colors through a video, as well as the newsletter, to try and cross over and make sure everybody gets what they want to get from the soap dough. So there you go. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And here we go.